Okay, to use uh, gmappedometer.com, go to that website and it starts you off with your default view. And what I always do is uh, just jump to my zip code and press enter. That shows you an overall map of that area. And this is a mashup of a Google map, so it runs just like Google Maps. You can zoom in or out. The first thing I'm going to do is uh, double click to center the map where you want. I'm going to find my house. My house is right on this cul de sac. Uh, you can flip to hybrid view. That way you can see everything. Anyway, to, to map out a run, all you do is, uh, well, let's go back to map. Let's be faster. Click start recording. Then I'm going to double click on your starting point. And it used to be that you had to double click all the way around curves. Now what you can do is, let's just say I want to run to the end of this street where my mouse is. You can still move the map around. I want to run to this corner right here. I double click where I'm going to turn around and it will map the route all the way over. Now I'm going to come back to this street, double click again. Just keep double clicking every place you're going to turn. You can right now it's counting the miles, and then I'm just going to come back to my cul-de-sac. So there's a two and a half mile run where it has mapped the route uh, uh, according to the curves of the streets. So I know that's a two and a half mile run. Now, okay, that's too short, so I don't want to finish up yet. So I'm going to undo last point. Now I'm back to where I was before. So now I got to go to the end of this road here, and then I'm going to go home. Okay, there's a three and a half mile run. So that's all there is to it. You can save it. Uh, there's a million things you can do with it, but as long as you know how to get started um, with your clicks and how it's working, uh, that's all you need. So let's say I don't want to do that. I want to run all the way to the end of this road. It'll actually map for you even if you can't see it on the screen. Uh, I want to go all the way down to where the park begins. I go way down here. Didn't catch my click. Okay, so it takes me four and a half miles just to get to the start of the park. Uh, the park. Uh, and that's really all there is to it. You click clear points and start over, and that'll wipe out uh, everything that I had saved up to that point. Okay, and then I can go back and start mapping again. So I'm start recording. Double click. Uh, if I want to run down here and all the way down to these tracks, it should be one and a half miles. So that's all there is to the GMAP pedometer. It's a lot better than Map My Run because of the way the screen follows your cursor and the fact that there are very few ads getting in your way. Good luck.